Hello. Well, what we got here is the Rec C958. And that, as you probably know, is a Robo Crimp. See? See that? Robo Crimp. Now, how this works is put a battery in there, 12 volt battery, 14 volt battery, and you press the button and it cranks over and it's great fun. Uh, now, apparently they deliver about 12 tonnes of pressure. I haven't actually uh, worked it out, um, but its its claim on it is... Um, Ooh. Oh no, it's six short tons. Six short tons. Well, everyone knows what a, sh a short ton is, so I shan't go and describe that to you. It's working on 14.4 volts DC and drawing 220 watts. Now, I bet you'd like to see it working. Well, <coughs> I haven't got a battery for it, and you probably got one similar without a battery. Now it's a simple two terminal battery and what I've done here I've scratched a plus sign so you know which side is the positive terminal. Now if you had an old battery you could use that as a um, I haven't so what I'm going to do is to get the appropriate wire in this case it's going to be a red one for the positive and I'm going to use just a normal peg, a uh, clothes peg to hook him on into position. Make sure we've got a good grip on it and then I'll take the black wire, except this has come undone. Side. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, or so I've got the camera in the wrong place. There we are. Two wires, two wooden pegs, and then I've got an old fashioned gypsy peg which is going down in between to basically make sure that the wires stay separate because. Obviously there's a quite a high current coming from my source uh, work. Yeah. It worked fine in the pre um, pre filming test and uh, it's because I'm being watched. Look away a second and I'll really get it done. There. Well, that's good. Right, now what I've got is my battery charger, which is producing um, 12 volts. Um, and I should connect this up. You have to be patient because I've got the camera, I see, I see now in completely the wrong position, and you can't see very much. Um, but almost done, one more connection, and that's it there. Okay, so now pressing the trigger like so. I've lost power, wait a second. There we go. Must be a backup there. So we got to um, watch this. Don't put your finger in it though. Right, 
six tons of pressure, it, it cuts off automatically. And to reverse it, to pull it out of the piston, you use the, the second trigger, and it's simple as this. And of course, the whole thing rotates. Now you're asking yourself the question as to what it looks like when it's squeezing something, aren't you? I can tell. So let me find something to squeeze. Now, okay. Right, we've got, we've got a piece of wood. Um, and we'll just slip that in there. Now, that's not going to do too much because it's not quite big enough. Let's try another piece of wood in between there. So we've got to, you see that? That's going to splinter a little bit and squeeze it, I expect. Here we go. Ready? Steady. Whee! Now that is what you call fun. So we've crushed the, the wood and now we're going to press the release. See how quickly it releases it, and here's what the wood looks like now. So that's, uh, see the indentation there? Now of course the, um, the wood is very resilient, this particular type of wood, it's just a piece of bat roofing batten, and, um, and so that, that's actually squashed quite considerably. Um, and so a lot of the pressure has been, uh, has been absorbed by the fibres. Um, and the flexibility of the fibres. But you can see how if you had a, a, a pipe and you wanted to, uh, to crimp a metal, a metal um, sleeve around it or, or something like that, um, there's a, a lot, of, lot of pressure there and with the right tool in it. Um, so you've got these uh, like dies in there where you can uh, release them and change them over. And uh, well, this is a, a great fun tool and one thinks that even outside of using it for it, its original specialist purpose that it could actually be uh, adapted uh, for something else and maybe I'll make another video uh, showing it being used for something spectacular I think that might be good fun what do you think so here we go again as it closes light comes on to, to show you uh, you're at uh, maximum torque and then open up again so that is it these uh, tools are about uh, um, 1200 pounds to buy new so it's an expensive tool um, and it's a it's a fun tool a fun tool I think every boy should have one. Thank you for watching.